Happy New Year, yogis. The featured pose this month is Sursasana, which is headstand, and it's often called the king of all asana for its wonderful benefits, especially for the immune system. So we're gonna move into the pose, starting with the most basic variation, and just moving up into the full extension of the pose, so you can take your time and work towards whatever variation works for your body today. It's gonna be different every day. You wanna stay away from this pose if you have um, neck injuries or neck issues, or hypertension, or even glaucoma. We're gonna start out on our hands and knees. And you always want to start out by warming up the body for this pose first. So maybe taking about 30 minutes or so, just moving through sun salutations, warming up the body and getting the body ready to move into this inversion. So go ahead and come into your hands and knees, connect with your breath. And once you've established yourself in your breath, maybe taking like five, 10 breaths with your eyes closed, just connecting to the moment. Go ahead and come down into your hands and your knees. And you want to anchor your elbows beneath the shoulders so they're strong and firmly rooted. Bring the palms of the hands together and clasp the hands, crossing the thumbs. So there are many different ways that this is taught. This is just a um, variation that I was taught. It's a really wonderful way, especially if you're just starting out um, doing this pose to remind you to keep the shoulders engaged. So you want to Take a moment, just melt your heart down towards the floor, drawing the shoulder blades together on your back, and keep that. Bring the crown of the head down, nestle the back of your head right into your thumbs, and curl your toes under. Start to lift your hips up towards the sky, and slowly start to walk your toes towards your elbows. So this is the first variation I was talking about. You can hang out right here, and just hang out and breathe, and Allow the body to start to open up itself up and move towards the fuller extension of this pose. And you want to keep your elbows under the shoulders. A lot of times what happens is we take the elbows out because we feel like it's going to be more stable, but it actually takes away from the shoulder engagement. So once you practice this for a while, work towards walking your toes closer to your elbows. We're trying to get the hips over the shoulders. So you can stay here. Once you're here, and you're feeling kind of lifting up through the forearms, letting the core start to lift your hips. Maybe work towards bending one knee and then the other, just keeping the knees hugging in. Staying here until you find stability. So once you're here, the next step is to practice extending the knees up towards the sky. You want to draw your navel in towards your spine. This helps to kick the core on. And then reach your feet up for the final variation of this pose. So your feet are active, you're spreading your toes wide, lifting your kneecaps, drawing that belly in. Everything lifts up from the core. And you can stay here for five breaths, all the way up to five minutes. And when you're done, you're gonna come out the same way that you came in. So you wanna hug the core in towards the spine, draw the knees in towards the chest. Stretch your legs back out towards the floor. And then end by coming into a yummy, restorative child's pose. Knees together or apart. Taking your arms to the side. And just allowing the shoulders and the neck and the head to soften. And hang out here for five breaths, up to five minutes. And then come up to sit on your heels. Place your palms together at your heart. And congratulate yourself. Good job. Keep practicing. Namaste.